We're just we're just hanging in there with the food at the moment. It's not looking great, but we are hanging in there. Like I say, I think it's gonna it's it will topple if we find any survivors. Unfortunately, get two engineers in. Can we not? Do we not have any more engineers free anywhere? We could probably close down some of the medical huts now. Because... Are there any patients in this one? There's no patients in this one. Let's disassemble that. And we're going to use those spare workers and put them straight to use in here. Um, we can't build prosthesis yet. Why not? Oh, because we need to research it, don't we? No, we don't need to research it. We need to give it a book of law, I think. Is it? Oh, yeah, prosthetics. We need to build care homes first. Derp. Well, we could build an automaton, I guess. Um, and have the automaton drilling for um, wood all night. Yeah, let's build one automaton. What do we need? A hundred steel, which we have. A hundred wood, which we have. Fifty coal, which we have. And one steam core. Go, build one. Automatons are awesome. Oh. We've reached a storm shelter. <gasps> Survivors! Exactly what I didn't want. <laughs> oh, they're scientists, though. We'll have some... Call up the explorers. We have some promising leads, but I'll understand if the exploration of Frostland is given secondary priority in our circumstances, says the team leader. Shall we tell these people to leave their work and more to the city? Uh, okay, send the scientists. The scientists will send out towards the city on their own. Let them carry on with their exploration. Uh, well, if they're exploring, I'm going to let them carry on. If I mean, if it's free exploration... Yeah, let them carry on. We'll come back to them if we need to. Okay, so... We need to now send our... Ah, right, okay, so... Hmm. What we could do... What we could do... Is send them back. So the scientists stay out towards the city, it will take longer. But they won't die, so all 20 will make it. Uh, the scouts will head out towards the city and bring the scientists quicker. We don't need them urgently. What we could do here is send them to our city and then we're not I'm probably not going to use that outpost so what I might do is just bring our exploration team back to that bridge bring back the automaton and then carry on scouting the other side of that bridge so in fact I'm going to do exactly that send the scientists back to the city good stuff and now our dudes can go back to the bridge We can disassemble that old... Uh, we can turn the automaton to come back. Which is going to be good. Our guys have almost reached the snowfield up here. It's great stuff. Okay, let's resume. We're about halfway on hope. We're about 25%. Yeah, once this is gone, I think, well, it's going to be disappearing before long. Well, uh... We get that house of prayer in over there. Oh, hello. Do less harm. So, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputees doing radical treatment. Give him what he needs. Engineer won't be able to work, but hope will raise. Let's do that. Sounds like a plan. How are we doing with the rescuing over here? You're not doing too great. You've removed six lots of timber. Work faster. Right. Oh, look, look, look. It's just gone. So. House of prayer? Sweet. Give me that glorious hope. Can we do another sermon? We can. Yay. Slowly creeping up. 
Fimna's not researched <laughs> to let me research laws faster. 41 minutes away from reaching the scout's destination. Bosh. Okay, these guys can go over to the broken tree. See what you can find. Um, we need to... 13 children prohibited from working? Yeah, we need to... How are we looking on that food? Because I'm worried. Yeah. I'm worried that these extra people arriving is going to tip us back over again. We'll see how it goes along. We are building another hunter's hangar here right now. Streamline prosthesis. Oh, I know that sound. That is the sound of an automaton coming online. Oh, I like that sound. Let's have a look at technology. So, uh, automaton integration. What was we going to do next? Let's do... Let's do that wall drill. Go for that. Where's my automaton? You must be near the factory. Here he is. Such a cool animation to be built. Look at that. The legs being plugged in. There he is. Hello, Dave. The Mark II Nor Norfolk Norfolkman. Norfolk? Norfolkman. The Mark II Norfolkman. Sure. Okay, let's bring you over to work in here, shall we? Automaton, please. I suppose, really, I should probably send it where I need engineers. In fact, can they run the infirmaries? I think they can. I don't know if they can do it straight away. They might need research. Uh, was there an infirmary down here? No, it needs research. So, let's take the engineers out of here for now. Uh, we'll actually turn off the building. Because we can't build prosthetics yet. Um, let's put the workers that we just got over here. Storage is near. Really? Really? You're not going to rescue him because you've got nowhere to put the timber. Now you can rescue him. Jeez Louise. That's, that's some low, low effort rescuing right there. Uh, sorry guys, uh, we, we, we're just going to leave you inside that uh, burning building because we've got nowhere to put the timber. Jeez. How disappointing would that be? Let's pump up the speed again. Take another sip of drink. Look at him going along. Such a cute, cute automaton. Be <laughs> done. Uh, okay, these have reached the steel bridge. Let's explore. Send the automaton back to the city. Okay. And let's bring these guys over to... What have they got? They've just got steel on them at the moment, right? Yeah. We'll send them to the snow cliff, because why not? In fact, no, let's bring them... Let's bring them... Let's bring them straight to Winterholm, and then we'll go from Winterholm to the, the snow cliff. I think it's going to be better. New law. Okay, we need that hope. What are we gonna do? Evening prayers or shrines? Shrines raise the hope of people working nearby. Shrines increase the efficiency of workplaces. Let's do shrines. So we can build a shrine up here. Um, hmm. That affects two buildings. That affects two buildings, three buildings. How many shrines do I need to build? Three. Okay, so we'll do one up here. And somehow shrines affect automatons, but we won't question that. We'll just accept that robots need prayers too. <laughs> um, and should we? Oh yeah, let's do one down here for the work. Workshop. That'll do. That's our three shrines. Do <laughs> do robots dream of electric sheep? Um, with so much to do, we really need to be reminded to pray. At last, somewhere our pr we to say our prayers in peace. Awesome. Hope's getting there. It's about forty percent now. Pump up speed a bit through the night. 
Shrine's been built. Hope rises a little bit. Nice. Our scouts have reached the tree. Let's explore. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach another promising abandoned trailer. Okay, let's go across to there. Didn't find anything. Abandoned trailer sounds promising. Hmm. We're still okay on coal. I think we're going to build yet another research a resource depot. Probably over here. How are we doing clearing the trees away from this guy? Part of me wants to do a 24-hour save for him. Thing is, if he's if they're badly burnt now, we have we have a way to treat them. We actually have infirmary, so we can treat them properly. You know what? We can afford it. We've got we're okay on discontent. We don't desperately need the timber, but I would like to save the person. Let's start assigning children to clear away some more of these burning buildings. Um, if we can. Wooden ruins, yep. Send some children. Send some more children. And some more children. And some more children. And some more children. Send some workers to that one. Wow, there's literally only 35 people that have been out stuff to do, which are actually workers as well. Uh, yeah, blitz through the night. We've got a double temperature drop in, in uh, about a day's time as well, so... Um, we're going to have to think about either getting some more of these... We really need to get these cleared away so we can get houses in. Missing raw food. You really want to risk children being hurt that close to your hope goal? Um, I mean, these sites, these sites are are warm. They're livable, so, and we have really good uh, medical facilities now. We have two infirmaries, so we can deal with. I mean, look, they're all children that are actually in here. It sounds really bad, um, but we have ways to look after them now, so it's not too bad. I don't think. I don't think any, we're gonna, I don't think we're risking any children. I think we're going to be okay. Especially when they're this close to the generator. It's going to be warm, so they're going to be alright. Here comes the food. Look at the automaton. It's so good. He's just... He's warming himself back up again. It's so good. What's the name of this... Oh, mess hall. I thought it was the name of the pub. Not too bad, not too bad. These guys are about to reach their destination. Just blitz it a second. Oh, oh, oh. Scouts 2 have safely returned to the city. Sweet. Did we rescue them? Cowardly thugs. Sir, we pulled several thugs from the ruins who served the previous leader. When these cowards realized that we were winning, they hid in the guardhouse pantry and were buried under the debris after it caught fire. What should we do with them? Plus four workers, starving and ill. Discontent will rise greatly or banish them. Discontent will fall. Um, 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 we don't need them. So I'm tempted to do this one. Um, let's do that one. Banish them. Sorry. Bye. So long and thanks for all the fish. Good riddance. We don't need the likes of them in our city. I'll sleep easier knowing they're no longer among us. Yeah, it's sooner... As horrible as it is to banish them out to the cold and probably their inevitable death, um, I'd sooner not have startings of a new resistance movement in the city. I think that's a wise move. Okay, get over to that snow cliff and see what we can find down there. We don't need the resistance here. The resistance is not welcome here. Oh, we've reached the trailer. Let's see what's over here. <gasps> it's Deep Gores. A trailer that the third Dreadnought was hauling. Wow, look at that. 
It's amazing. Abandoned trailer, too heavy a burden. This is one this is one of the enormous cargo trailers designed to be hauled by the dreadnoughts. They carried all kinds of goods from construction materials to coal and food rations to scout sledges and steam cores. The trailer is balanced precariously on the edge of a deep ravine. It was abandoned when the ice bridge cracked under its weight. We could take the supplies that can be safely reached or risk entering the trailer to carry out more. Um, ooh. What could possibly go wrong? So we get two steam cores and 100-ish, 198 extra steel at the risk of losing our scouts. Or one steam core and 208 steel and not risk losing our scouts. Um... I am going to take what only can safely be reached. I need the scouts for now. I need the scouts. I can't risk them. We can send we can send them back and if we want more, but let's go to that mass grave. Hopefully hopefully we're not gonna get diseased. Hopefully we can find maybe some some resources, maybe some people and bring them back. Um we're in a better position now to deal with them. Yeah, even with the extra people we're gonna be alright on food. We just need to sort out that last of that hope. Let's pump up the speed a bit again. Oh, hello. Oh, they can't deposit any coal because um, we're we're full. <laughs> uh, we got a resource depot down here. Let's put. Let's pause this a second. We'll make that coal so they can drop it off. And we've got so much extra timber now. Let's build some more houses again. So we can. Let's do houses here, houses here. And let's upgrade these ones. These ones aren't going to change. This one and this one. These ones aren't going to change. This one and this one. I think I should probably knock this one down. Because that I could totally fit two houses in that space that one is taking up. Oh, I made 18 homeless though. Oops. I upgraded too many at once there. Fortunately, we have enough spare workers right now. We've got 103 spare workers. So we can actually build all of these structures all at once. Super handy. Let's blitz the speed up a little bit. Hello, what's going on here? Breath of Hope. Sir, people have started to leave personal charms, beads, and written prayers at the shrines as votive offerings. It seems it helps keep them, their spirits up in these trying times. I'm glad to hear that. Nice. Come on, start building. There we go. Right. Um, two houses. Can we get two in here? No, we can't. That's annoying. Um, you know what? Actually, cancel that. I'm going to re, re sort out the path here. It is a mess. The city is such a mess. Let's remove that there. Let's. Look at this. Look, look at the. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, we're going to remove this path here. We're going to remove this path here. We're going to build another house that's going to take up that spot quite nicely actually wow why is it so big there but so small there that's a bit random hmm yeah I'm going to build another house there what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move that fighting arena to over here because I think I can get another two houses in here once it's replanned out let's remove some of these roads because no way do you need that many. It's just very poorly designed. Well, which is the intention. You were told at the beginning of this that the city... Look at, look, look at this. This is such a mess. Uh, you were told that this city has very, been very poorly designed. So let's remove this. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Dismantle this. Mantle this. And 
this plan into this. Um, we've got a path coming along here, so I'm actually going to remove this here, remove this down here. We don't need double paths. Remove that there. This is horrible as well. Um, let's remove all of this here. Remove this across here, and across here, and across here. Um, that will do, I think, for tidying up for now. We're back to 500 odd timber. Um, let's remove this fighting arena. Steam wall drill. We can upgrade this now. Resources. It's going to use another steam core, but we do have an automaton on way. And we have another steam core with these guys, so it should be okay. Uh, research wise, let's have a look. What should we do for research? Um, I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm tempted to do heat related stuff. I might do insulation. Infirmaries will employ five few engineers. That could be actually. I'm going to do that because we're using so many engineers right now. We could do with the spare engineers. Uh, we only have seven, although we have some on route. We have 18 on route. Oh! Okay, so that's annoying. Even though it said that they don't die, a few have died en route, which is kind of annoying. But sure. We'll roll with it. Let's resume. Um, oh, did that flying arena instantly disappear? Wow. Houses? Can we get two in? Yeah. It's totally worth doing then. This is a super annoying, the fact that we've got two two spots down there. Two spots of space that we could totally have used. Yeah, look, if we put these back to back, I think we could have, um, we could go three houses deep here. Hmm, what is this? It's a cookhouse. It doesn't need to be right next to the generator. Let's, let's bring the cookhouse behind it, shall we? Let's put the cookhouse here. And then I might remove this one. Oh, look, we're almost up racks of food rations again. So let's build yet another resource depot. And we can start storing food at it. This city is its looking healthy. It's looking healthy. We don't have to worry too much about the extra food rations. Um not having the space to put them because all it will do is it will just store the normal food rations so we will still use it it's just ideally we'd like to cook up everything we find what's going on here oh a great other way scouts have reached the snow cliff sweet and we've got a new book of laws now available steam cores yes Mysterious find. Several huge crates are buried here, exactly like the ones used to protect the steam cores during transport. We'll dig them out. Stone dunes, freshwater springs. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet. Resources will be taken. We've got a snow dune and freshwater springs. So, we can see distant glimmers of the sun playing on the surface of water. Unfrozen water here points to the presence of freshwater springs. Um, I don't know what that's going to bring, if I'm honest. I'm tempted to go this way. Because what I'll do is I think this these guys over here, when they come back, we'll start to bring them out this way. So I'm going to get these guys to go straight across the snow dune. We don't need the steam cores that they've got right now. They're just going to be handy to have, but we don't, we're not desperate need for them. Uh, new book of laws. Oh, the care homes, I think, is going to be a good shout. Because then we can work on those prosthesis. So let's build these. We only need to build one, so let's build one care home just out here. Um, it's the best we can do for them right now. Well, it means more beds and food for the rest of us. Yeah, very true. Scouts have reached the mass grave, right? Here we go. Grit your teeth. It's a mass grave, probably of the people who died when the third dreadnought steam boiler exploded. Steam course. Okay. 
We opened the mass grave to count the bodies. It was difficult and a gruesome task, as many of them were torn to shreds by the explosion. We have heartbreaking news. After adding the bodies found here to those from the last camp, it seems that everyone who is travelling in the third dreadnought has died. Womp, womp, womp. Several steam cores were left here as gravestones. Really? We decided that the living need them more instead. Damn right. Two steam cores, please. Sweet. Okay, so they have found everything they need. So let's bring these guys back. 13 hours to here, one day to here, 19 hours to here. Let's bring them straight home. And then we'll send them off to the cracked ice. So they're bringing back three steam cores and 208 steel with them, which is going to be super duper handy. Gathering post is redundant over here. We have got everything we can. Um, I think rather than build another one now, I think we'll just manually go in and um, start removing these ruins because we have enough spare staff. Staff. We've got enough spare um, bodies to start removing the structures now um, because there's so few of them left. That one's just about done. That one's just about done. Let's get that one on going. I think that's all the ruins. Nope, that one. A couple more over here. Wasn't there some up here as well? Are these ruins? No, these are tents. Ah, oh, these are ruins though. Children. Children, please. Actually, can we get children working on where it's warmer? We'll take the engineers off here. We'll put children in where it's warmer. We're not completely heartless after all. We'll get the children to work in the warm zones. That'll do. Um, no, there's children working in that. There we go. Children can work down here where it's warm. Um, get some more workers over there. So many ruins. It's crazy. Um, yeah, this cookhouse can have people. Did we get that other depot built? Is it this one over here? No. Ah, oh, it's under construction over here. This one? Yeah. How much food is it actually? Let's say how long our current food rations will last. We eat 548 a day. Wow. Uh, hmm. Maybe maybe we should look at considering doing soup again. It depends if there's a storm like there was in the other one. I imagine there will be a storm eventually that we have to make our we have to survive. In which case we're gonna need big food reserves, but we're okay for now. We've got four days left to raise hope to 50%, so I think it's... I still think it's doable. We're pretty close. Um, what's the... Didn't we have evening prayers is another thing we could do? We need a house of healing. The house of healing doesn't require engineers, treats the gravely ill, and gives all patients small hope bonus. The house of healing heals people slower than the infirmary. Field kitchens... Raise the temperature of people nearby. Evening prayers increases hope and lowers discontent. We're okay. I think evening prayers might be the next one. 